just shows that it isn't really ready yet. Most of the work is done, but not all the work. So we have to pull it out of the portfolio this year. We'll continue working with Camellas and we'll definitely get it in at some later point. Switch uh, screens. There we go. Thank you. Okay, hopefully it won't be too flickery for you <laughs> as we go on. Sorry about that. Um, Okay, so uh, my name is Adrian Jackson. I'm from the University of Edinburgh. I've given a few talks at various Deus things, so apologies if I'm repeating things that you've seen before. As with all my talks I've given about this, I'm going to say most of this work is not mine. It's my PhD student, Nick Laus, who is, uh, also works at ECMWF. And so this is all done in the context of European Centre for Medium Range Weather Forecasting and their requirements for data. Um, and they have this thing called an FDB, Fields Database, which is their custom data storage uh, system, which allows them to index and access their climate and weather forecasting data. And they've, they've used this for a long time. It has all their uh, past data. It spans lots of different things. Um, and that, in the past, has been built on file systems. So they build it on top of Lustre, but and they use directories and uh, file names to build a structure around that to so store the metadata. Um, and so they have this catalog with files and, and directories in it and then the data inside that. And at the moment that runs on Lustre operationally. Uh, this is where they, they run all these things, but Nicolau's been doing the work to port this across to Deos because this, these kind of things should be like objects, right? So they, it should map well into an object store um, uh, ethos. Uh, and so he's done this work recently and implemented this now. We have now have a working version of their full fields database uh, interface in uh, Deos. It involves, uh, you know, it's, it's non-trivial structuring of data. So they have a catalog and they have a data store. The catalog has all the metadata, which lets them look up forecasts in the past and look uh, index across forecasts. Uh, and so these uh, separated out, uh, and they want to do be, be able to do quite a lot of complex uh, metadata operations, like delete whole catalogs, or create whole catalogs, or search across from those kind of things. So that has, uh, over various iterations, uh, mapped onto a Deos pool, uh, and then a set of containers, there's a root container, uh, a database container for forecasts, and then there are arrays used to store the actual data. Okay, uh, and so this talk, uh, this work has been done, as I said, uh, we've played a lot about how you actually design that, how you map it, how many key values you have, how many containers you have. But in this talk, we're, we're, uh, I'm just going to present some of his findings about optimising this. So once you have something that's basically working, what are the things we've done to then improve the performance by tweaking how we implement the DEOS? Underlying, it's doing the same things, but there's different function calls you can use and different structures you can use to do that. I won't take too long here. Um, this will run their production, um, bench, uh, production uh, forecasting system on top of it. It has all the functionality, but here actually we're using something called FDB Hammer, which is a synthetic database, uh, synthetic benchmark, which exercises the FDB um, at high level. And this is what they use to benchmark clusters as well. Um, so it has a set of client nodes that run parallel write sequences and parallel read sequences because in production they have things generating data but also things querying data at the same time um, and we're running it on our system which is slightly strange so it is omnipath again um, it is uh, opt-in memory but no NVMEs so the results the, the absolute performance results I'm presenting here are probably very specific to the system we're using here uh, but the overall recommendations probably uh, go across. So we had a working thing, a uh, working implementation, and what Nicolau did was a fair bit of instrumentation in the FDB so we could pull out what was the cost of everything that we were running. It would have been nice if we could have got that from Deos directly, 
So it had some profiling built into it, but what he did was instrument all the FDB so we could time every single call that was made to Dayos and back, and then just look at where uh, things were expensive uh, and not expensive. And based on that, uh, so this is the performance we used to get for the FDB, uh, using this FDB hammer benchmark, still good performance for, for whatever hardware we have, but it tails off uh, and has some things where we know it should be faster. The Lustre uh, variant of this was actually faster than Deus on the same hardware, right? So we know there were some issues there. But then the Lustre config has been really tuned, so it has a certain setup of directories and files which really map well into Lustre. And what we want to do is the same tuning for Deus. Um, and so through that profiling, we were able to move from a point where we're 20 gigabytes write and 13 gigabytes read up to about 35 gigabytes write and 68 gigabytes read by changing just how we're doing um, how we're using uh, Deus in there. So it's not changing the containers, not changing the object types, but just changing how we use the function calls. Uh, and so a lot of this was just looking at various ways to do the, the to access the data for the Deus API and saying, is this the right way of doing it? Um, so particularly things like array create, anything that does an RPC, so anything that has to go off to, to the engines and talk to them before you get the results back is slow, obviously. And so there's a way, there's a few ways around that. So uh, Deus Array Create um, was slow in our experience, but we can get array around that with something called Deus Array Open with attributes. Uh, it only works for a certain kind of array, um, and you have to be careful about what you're doing it. So you're you're telling it you're doing the right thing. So if you do things wrong there, then you'll you'll get the wrong data or, or corruption. But that that uh, cut uh, some of those, those overheads there. Deus array get size as well uh, was expensive. Uh, so instead of asking the Deus to get that data, we just cache it locally and, and keep uh, the, the records our, ourselves there. Um, and then the uh, container allocate OIDs was also expensive. So you could have done this every single iteration. You wanted a set of OIDs, but what we do is one, once per writer process and cache the OIDs it gives us and, and then just uh, reuse those um, as we need them. Um, this has been discussed a little bit before as well, but the choice of how many containers you create is also key to performance here. So. One way of doing this structure would have been to create lots of containers, a container per field of data. Uh, you know, theoretically, it sort of makes sense. But creating lots of containers makes Deus very slow. And I think we've talked a bit about this at other events where it's not really designed to have very large numbers of containers. Uh, Deus. Um, and also opening the containers can be expensive. So if you look at the examples of how you should use the API, a lot of it is that you open it in one place and then share that handle around with NPI and things like that. So if you can do that in your application, that can also cut down the overhead, not have every single process open the container, uh, but open it in one place and then use NPI to sh share the container handles. Um, so you know, in this example here, um, when we were writing 2,000 2, fields out, 2,000 bits of data, um, you know, a, a good chunk of that time was just opening the container, particularly when we started to scale up to very large um, times. Uh, so cutting down how we did that uh, in the design was, was essential to get good performance. So minimal use of containers, so a minimal number of containers, and not doing very many operations opening and closing across the run. Now, of course, this is a bit dependent on the benchmark here because you know, we're doing, if you had an application, just opened all your containers at the beginning and then spent 24 hours doing stuff, it may not, you may not care. But for this kind of tight IO operations, it, it came, uh, it, did, it did matter. Um, and then the, most of the stuff I'm talking about here has been done on DAOs 2.4, but we did notice some performance changes as we've moved up through the versions. So container opening has become slower in 2.4 compared to 2.2 from, from our experience and our setup anyway. That's just where it's going. And so with some of these uh, configuration changes, as you can see, we, 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 he was able to move the performance from the blue lines up to the orange lines. Uh, so, you know, uh, pretty um, significant performance improvement uh, just by tweaking uh, some of the things we're doing here. And if you look at the underlying profile there, you can see, uh, particularly for the um, read, which is on the right hand side, but also for the right, now most of the time is being spent in those array write calls where we're actually putting the data into the data store or we're taking the data back out. And that's what we want. We don't want any of the rest taking up much time if we can 
avoid it. There's always going to be something in there because every array write requires some metadata operations and the catalogs and those kind of things. But that's that's the kind of thing we were looking to do. It would be, as I say, it would be nice if you could pull these things out of some profile in Deo, so those kind of things. But here we were doing that manually. And then there's a bunch of other things he's also noted, but uh, some of the other things that you know, these calls are expensive, and if you can avoid them, then, then they can be uh, performance improvements. So key value list is expensive. Some of the array opens are much cheaper than, uh, than other array opens. Um, so things that don't generate calls to the, to the servers, uh, really. Um, allocating IDs is expensive, as I said before. Key value put and get are cheap, but in his experience, the shorter the strings you're storing, the better the, the performance there. Closing objects, closing calls, and closing uh, uh, closing uh, containers and, and pools is also uh, relatively cheap. Um, and in his experience, DAO's array read is a, it behaves a little strangely in, in some of the things we're doing there. So, um, if we call a DAO's array read after we've called a DAO's array get size, um, then it's fast. Uh, but if you do it without doing the DAO's array get size first then it's slow for some reason um, and it looks like it looks like to us anyway we've not looked into the code here but the DAO's array uh, read um, does a DAO's array get size inside internally if it's not already been done but maybe that's not going on but that's sort of what it looks like there so we need to look into that um, a, a little a little bit here but there's you know a bit of peculiarities but the sort of takeaway really is Actually, once you've got something working in Deos, you can play around a little bit with how you're using it, and that can improve your performance. Here, we sort of double the performance we could get by just saying, actually, this is not quite the right way of doing it. Um, and, and, and particularly if you can store things locally or, or save metadata inside your application, maybe distribute things between clients rather than uh, at the server side, that can also uh, it, it reduce the performance costs. Um, any questions? Other than why does my laptop not work with the display? <laughs> no, it would be nice to document some of this uh, in a bit more detail, right? So sort of a best practice development guide or something like that. So maybe we should think about, uh, or maybe people have already done that, but uh, it, we will we'll try and write some of this up into some of, you know, if you're doing this kind of thing, it, for, for us this looked like it was the best way of doing it. Because there's lots of ways of doing it in Deos, right? That's, that's one of the issues. Okay. Thank you.